Hi everyone, today we're going to look at the chemistry of a flameless ration heater, or FRH for short. These are used by members of the military to heat up and cook their MREs while out in the field. At first glance, we see a plastic bag with some warning labels on the front and a few other instructions. If we tear open the bag and have a look at the inside, you can see a white packet which is full of magnesium and a few other salts. There's also a nice little warning label letting you know not to eat it. It's very clever. So if we add a little water to the bag, the water starts reacting with the magnesium and generating a lot of heat. After about 30 seconds or so, we'll see quite a bit of gas being released from the top of the bag. Here I have this uh, in high speed to make it go a little faster. We can collect this gas with a test tube by inverting the test tube into the top and uh, folding the label over to help fill up the test tube a bit faster. Once the tube has enough gas in it, we can keep in the tube inverted, clamp it into place, then use a small flame to ignite the hydrogen that's inside the tube. It'll make a nice little box. Nice. Here again in slow motion. And once more in super slow motion. After adding some excess water to the bag, all the contents of the FRH was dumped into a small beaker. Then I added a few drops of phenolphthalein. Uh, and if you're not familiar with phenolphthalein, it causes solutions to turn pink when they are basic. Uh, so what's happening is the magnesium in the FRH is reacting with water. Uh, and that's causing a lot of hydrogen gas to be released. The other product is a magnesium hydroxide, which is left in the water. And this is what's causing the solution to turn basic. That's it for this demonstration. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.